call the meeting to order. We'll start out by reading the warning. No, notice of Board of Civil Authority meeting Friday, November 12, 2021, Rochester Town Office or electronically via Zoom, 8.30 a.m. The agenda is the Rochester Board of Civil Authority will meet at the Rochester Town Office or virtually through Zoom on Friday, November 12th at 8.30 a.m. to discuss the apportionment proposed house map. So, anybody have anything to start? Do everybody understand what we're here for? Do we need to go over that? Or we all good? Can I make a suggestion? No, sure. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, on this beautiful Friday. Uh, could anyone that is in the meeting um, as a member of the Board of Civil Authority or an employee or an appointed person uh, identify their name and what their position is with regard before they start talking so we know who, who's actually talking? Uh, yeah. You, you're wanting everybody to do that before they speak, is what you're saying. Yeah, just so uh, just so people, whether it's me here in Upper Duper Hollow or someone uh, zooming in from somewhere else, so they know people people just don't know who people are. They should right. Start with themselves then. Yeah. They should. Who are we talking? Yeah. Who are we talking? To? Who are we talking with? My name's Robert Franks. Okay. I guess if we're going to identify ourselves, we'll all be identified. Um, Who's speaking? This is Kevin Doherty. Oh, hi, Kevin. Good morning. Good morning. So the way we're going to do the meeting is we will deliberate on the question, and uh, we'll take public comment at the end. And you'll have the customary five minutes or anybody will, to comment on what we decide. It's, <clears throat> we would appreciate if there's no interruptions during the deliberation. That's not appropriate for this type of a deliberation. So are we all good with that? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, apparently we all know why we're here. Yes. Um, any, anybody have anything to start? Are there any comments on the proposed redistricting? I I came up with a couple, with one thing at least, that uh, Stockbridge not, is not included in this, and I think it's really important, and Ripton is, which is kind of unusual because we have absolutely no ties with Ripton uh, geographically other than 125. And that includes Hancock and Granville. Not that we can speak for them, but for Rochester's point of view, um, Ripton, no offense to anyone, but they're really not involved. We're involved with Two Rivers out of uh, Stockbridge is involved with Two Rivers out of Bethel is involved, Hancock and Granville. But I don't even know who Ripton is involved with. And to have them in our, our legislative representation and have them have to be in Addison County in a totally different uh, setup than <clears throat> uh, Two Rivers and, and not be a part of that just seems cumbersome to me. Um, and also I think that with Stockbridge being out, we have so many ties with Stockbridge through our school um, and also through our roads and we tend to have to go through some of Stockbridge to get to some of our properties too. So. I would think that it would be behoove the state to keep Stockbridge, Rochester, Bethel, Hancock, Granville, and possibly even Pittsfield in the same district instead of having to go to uh, different places to deal with Stockbridge and having a different representative there. So I don't know if, how anybody else feels about that, but that's, how, that's my take. That was my thought exactly. Uh, and just to add a little something to that, both the town of Ripton and the town of Southbridge are populations in the low 700s. Right. So as far as getting the correct number of people to be representative, represented, it shouldn't be a big deal to trade Ripton for Stockbridge. To add on, Pittsfield might add on more people than they'd like to see for the redistricting. Mm -hmm. yes. But I, I'm so happy to see Hancock and Granville in this. I am too. One of the 
criteria that they um, make a point about is create districts that include towns that share common uh, interests. Who's speaking? Brenda Goopy, I'm on the BCA, or whatever we are. I'm sorry, uh, who? Brenda Goopy. Oh, hi, Brenda. Hello. Um, and, and that was one of the things, and, and I thoroughly agree with, with Frank, um, and it's local knowledge. Um, those are the biggest things that if you read um, online that they talk about as being important. And just what Frank yeah, said. Yeah, I, I um, printed out, actually, this is Dune Hendricks from the Select Board and also on the BCA. Um, so it is, um, <clears throat> state law requires that state legislative districts be contiguous yes. and compact and that they adhere to county and other political subdivision boundaries except where necessary to comply with other legal requirements. In addition, state statutes specify that districts should account for patterns of geography, social yes. interaction, trade, political ties, and common interests. And I think the fact that the state has forced the merger of the schools of Rochester and Stockbridge and then to turn around and then put this division between the towns is, is, uh, is absurd. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think that it, it, it's almost like they um, disregarded geography in some ways totally. when they yeah. did this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they did the first time around, if yes. you know, was Hancock and Granville were with Orange, I believe. Yeah. When, and they have no connection to Randolph and Washington, those towns. They look at a map and it's flat. It's yeah. flat, exactly. And, and, you know, Ripton's two <clears throat> mountain ranges away from Bethel. Yeah. yeah. You know, they have to corrupt, not yep. mountain ranges, but... Yeah, ridges. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So, and that, that makes a difference. And no offense to the Ripton people, I'm sure they'd be better served by yes. someone else anyway, I believe. Someone close to them, you know, with Lincoln and East Middlebury, they're all right tight there. And yeah, true. I, I see no reason for them to be over here. But Someone mentioned Pittsfield earlier, and I think it's definitely appropriate. They're in Rutland County. It's appropriate that they are. The kids go either to Rutland or to Woodstock, and most of their business or people coming into the town are coming in from Killington. So... That's definitely appropriate. And they've been separated for years for anyway. Years, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. 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 I um, also, it, it's not a decision that we make, but I think it's really unfortunate that they've taken that little hunk of Bethel out because the one of the other criteria was keeping towns in, in one block. I think that probably it might be in something that you had there, Dune, I'm not sure. I, I would think that would affect Bethel greatly. I yeah. can't believe yeah. that they're going to go along with that. I can't believe they will either. But, but I, it might be positive for us to speak to it. I don't know. I know Bethel, the larger, larger population of Bethel is with our right. district. Right, that's yeah. correct. So it's just a small... It's my understanding it's from the underpass to the Stockbridge line. Mm -hmm. That's taken out, which seems a bit ridiculous. It, it, it is, and I think Bethel would most likely speak to that. It's going to make their elections just a big mess. Yeah. <coughs> so do we have a proposed um, map that we would submit to them that's um, more to our liking? Uh, I, it, do we have any more discussion on it before we no, read it down? Okay. Um, I, I think from what we've said, we, we do. And it, it sounds like it would be to uh, swap Ripton for Stockbridge. Mm -hmm. And if we feel we need to, I guess I'm not well enough informed on that little slice of Bethel that's gone, but it does seem awful strange. It doesn't seem that's a super high population Area. If they're trying to carve yeah. things up to, yeah. to get equal numbers, that's not a big number they're playing I, with there. It's, it's also the not a right right spot to do, but it's not our call with what Bethel and Stockbridge does well, either. It's I not mean, our we can call. we can it isn't. No, but we but can we we can voice our concerns it. about mm -hmm. it. But yeah. I don't think we have yeah. any jurisdiction yeah. over that, quite frankly. No. 
truth is we don't have any jurisdiction over any of it. On this. No, so they're, they're asking for our opinion, and they're going to do what they say, see fit. Right. And they'll recommend to the legislature, and then the legislature is going to do what they see fit. And it, it could fall completely with the legislature. I think it is good to get our, our input in there mm -hmm. so they understand. Yeah, I agree with that. And that and that piece of property of the town of Bethel is what joins everything together. It goes, you know, Han Granville, Hancock, Rochester, Stockbridge, that little hunk of land, mm -hmm. then Bethel. Yeah. It, it just seems very odd it, to, yeah. to make it uh, a working um, district. The, district for all the people that are involved in that right. district. They, they need to make it a town, whole town thing, yes. not just a cut up of town. You know, like Granville and East Granville, they need to keep that together as Granville in yes. order to make the voting and everything else they do a lot easier to uh, administer. Mm -hmm. It says, do not divide towns, follow the town and county lines mm -hmm. wherever possible. Yeah. Right, and of course, county lines are yeah. not really that yeah. possible here. No. But. Right. So, would we propose the map then, as as we've discussed, swap Ripton for Stockbridge, and do we want to comment on the little part of Bethel? I, I think we is, should. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's our only opportunity. It is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We have to voice what how we yeah. feel, so I think it's a good idea to Well, because that's part that was still part of our, our legislative district, so we right. right. comment on the whole legislative district, right. not just right. our, our part of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. And it would be putting their own criteria back to them as far right. as right. Right. keeping the towns together. Yeah. So I would say that that's it. Do you want to go through this feedback form maybe real real quick? Would that be helpful to you, Julie? I okay. think we have it. And um, then we can... Uh, we, we need number nine, recommendation, a description of districts recommended to be changed. Ten, rationale and, and comments. We could, uh, well, seven districts review with the BCA, BCA remains. <clears throat> recommends changing so basically what we're recommending is to keep it as it is keep it as not, it is not as it's Pittsfield. presented without Pittsfield without right Pittsfield. yeah but keep it as you know well the district uh, we have in and Granville were never part of this district no they weren't they weren't no no they were part well, of that's the right they weren't yeah they were all part of the other side Rutland, uh, Windsor, Rutland Windsor right and they're orange they're, yeah. orange, they're not Addison? Addison. Well, they're Addison mm -hmm. County, but oh, they see. vote in the Orange dis District for Helms. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. so, the, so what you're going to put in there is keep it as it is before the proposal. Well, it changes somewhat. What? Yeah. Yeah. The Add Hancock and Granville, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's what we're looking at. Okay, but if you keep it as it is, does that mean... So it's not not just keep it as it no. is, but right. to right. to modify their right. proposal right. Um, by switching Ripton for Stockbridge, right? And adding Hancock and Granville, adding Hancock and Granville, but losing Pittsfield was Pittsfield part of it. Yeah. Yes. No, no, it wasn't. No. It wasn't. It wasn't? No, no, they're part of killing <laughs> team. Killing um, team right. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. still in the same thing. Yeah, so it's not right. exactly keep it how it um, right. how right. it is but with these modifications at, yeah. at, with the additions yeah right. so we would be granville hancock stockbridge rochester stockbridge bethel right yeah. and yeah. the entire town of bethel entire town of right. bethel basically the the quintown region which yes. has been identified as a, a kind of a unified front on some levels for a long time That's certainly a common interest <clears throat> yeah yeah trouble with what we're doing. This is Mike Har Mike Harvey, BCA, is that if we want to swap Ripton for Stockbridge, where Stockbridge is proposed to be, Excuse going me, it's very hard to hear people. Sorry, I got a mask on. I can't take it off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, um, if 
we pull Stockbridge from where they are proposed to go, that district now is going to have to yep. figure out. And that's why this is so complicated right. Right, right. for the state. And my feeling is that they probably won't do much of anything because of that dynamic. It's a dice roll. Yeah. It, it, there's a snowball effect to what, and if one person changes, gonna, it's going to change everything. It, so. it is. And who knows what Stockbridge is going to do. They, right. they may feel the same way or they may feel different. Yeah, Stockbridge is with Bridgewater, right. which um, they're with Two Rivers and all of the regional, you know. So, I mean, we could make our proposal. Connection. That's all we can and do. That's it. Yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah. really right. all we can do. Right. This is just advisory. Well, yeah. and we don't know what Ripton's going to think about this either. They might be. You know, <laughs> I was then. I know what they think. <laughs> yeah. There was a comment already. Was there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, from one of the one of the lawyers was in, and he really didn't see a common, common anything common between Ripton and Bethel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, you know, they, they were district with outside towns. Uh, from Middlebury, basically, right, right. and that's where they had their common interest. I see. Well, that's good to go down, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But that's how Ripton's going to... Yeah. That'll be in their yeah. findings. Yeah. Right. I, I just think it, as, as you said, it's tragic to have Stockbridge not included when it, I guess one of you said that it's so important to keep that relationship mm -hmm. building mm -hmm. rather than falling apart. Right, I, I agree. I think Frank was the first one to say was, that, but yeah, I, I definitely agree. So it, it sounds like we have it then. It's fairly simple on our part. It's easy for us to say this is what we think and you Don't make it work. That. But that's really all we've been asked to do here. Has there been any uh, conversation with Hancock or Granville and how they feel about being moved from their legislative district? I haven't heard Have anything. Have you heard anything? anything? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not that it, we haven't, like it's, like it's been said, we don't have any control over that anyway, but yeah. it would be curious to know if they're, yeah. they're all right with anything to... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would be good to know. Well, I, I think we, we, we have it. Do you have enough, Julie, as far as the rationale? Yes. Yep. And uh, you have the map, and that, that's really all we can do. Yeah. Yep. Does anybody else have anything on, on this particular matter? I don't. Okay, uh, time for public comment. Robert, you have anything to say on this? I actually I do um, you know months ago I did warn the select board of Rochester that Five the uh, there would be a very good chance that redistricting uh, after the census was taken that this would be occurring um, this is a very important meeting and it's it happens every 10 years basically uh, due to the census um, I agree with a lot of the discussion but um, there's been a lot of concern regarding the, just the size of Windsor County. Like, what does Springfield, Vermont, have in common with Rochester? So, at the you know the Rutland Windsor County uh, on the big scale is 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 way too big. It's al almost like Burlington in a way. And I don't believe that the first of all the senators, uh, Miss Clarkson, Miss Nitka and Dick McCormick um, can can really manage it. So um, this situation is um, not only due to the um, census uh, situation in Ripton and Stockbridge and all that, there's a bigger picture, which I'm not gonna get into right now, but I wanted to ask if, if uh, Kirk White is present, because um, he, he he as a state representative should be um, speaking to this with s very serious concern. It and could, I don't. It could be a conflict of interest for him, Robert. I don't believe it would be appropriate. I, I, I can't understand who's talking and what you're saying. It's Kevin Doherty, and I think that would be a conflict of interest for him. And it's just as well he he's not here. How how could it be a conflict of interest for a state representative to be involved with? 
towns being ripped apart. Uh, not so much ripped apart. If you could look, you could look at it possibly as gerrymandering, which I'm not saying it is, but it would be a bad look for him to make recommendations. But a bad look for him, what does a look mean? Uh, it, it would be a, a bad precedent for him to set to say that this is how the districts should be. This is well, I, I don't necessarily think that Kirk would say this is how the district should be. He would just have um, his his commentary on what is actually happening to give everyone a really good state representative uh, uh, explanation of what is happening. He doesn't have to weigh in on um, what he thinks should happen. But I'm I'm very I'm very surprised and actually disappointed that he's not uh, here. I mean, excuse me, Robert. Yeah, this yeah. is Rebecca Klein, and our charge for this meeting has been to respond to the uh, legislative appointment board or apportionment board. Yeah. Apportionment board. Uh, I don't think it's to discuss anything that is uh, not pertinent to that, and I have to say that being basically a volunteer and whatever my time is limited to for these meetings i'm sorry if i'm being rude but that's my thought well i mean as i said to june the other day anyone whether they're elected appointed or employed by any town if they wear the hat of what responsibilities they're going to take on um you wear the hat exactly so, and we've and we've um we've uh, addressed, the addressed the issue. I, I would like to say that I think, Robert, that you should not be speaking for Kirk either. I just well, think that I'm this, sorry? this board was set, this meeting was set up for the Board of Civil Authority. And that's uh, who is present here. I, I can't hear what the person's saying or who the person is. This is Brenda Goopy, and I said that I don't think that you should be speaking for Kirk. This meeting is set up for the Board of Civil Authority, and we are here meeting. It does not say include other people or whatever. Or a public comment. Or a public comment. Thank you. So you're saying public, or public comment? What? Just make your point, Robert. Just yeah. give us your points, what you want to give. Your time's running out. No, my time, I don't know who's controlling the clock, but there's been other we people are. speaking in the five minutes that I've been speaking, and so we okay. have to delete anyone else that's commenting. Please? Regarding, uh, Julie made a comment, an attorney came into town. Could I have the name of the attorney that um, spoke to Julie about no. the interview? So who, who would be that attorney that um, gave an opinion? I don't know his name. It was just the a com clerk? it was it was just a comment that we were making. But you just put it into the minutes, and you're not going to say you I don't just, know who you. I just said it was an attorney. I didn't have to say his name. I didn't have to say his. I just made a comment. He was not brought here to speak on this topic. He was here on another matter of business and just made a comment. Right. Yeah. But yeah. his comment is impressing the decisions of the meeting. No. 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 no, 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 no. It's got nothing to do with that, Robert. R Robert, this meeting is about responding to the apportionment board, and you should please limit your comments to the, the reapportionment. My last question is regarding the Two Rivers involvement. Everyone seems to be very concerned that towns are uh, working with Two Rivers. What, what does that have to do with this? Nothing. Well, why was Two Rivers brought into the conversation? I... For the same reason that the How school was brought into the conversation, for looking at unified experiences between the towns and a district. 
It's certainly not a deciding factor. It was just mentioned in passing, if I recall. Yeah. Well, I don't understand the uh, inclusion of two rivers and the dependency on two rivers with regards to this conversation. There is absolutely none. Okay. So that, that was your last question. We're all set. Robert, is that correct? Thank you for uh, offering more time, but uh, I'm concerned. Well, your concerns are noted. You're concerned about the reapportionment? I'm just going to say I'm concerned <laughs> overall. Well, we're, we're all concerned, and that's why we're here. Well, I've been concerned about this since uh, I warned the select board that it was going to be happening, and now it, it's not looking too good. <laughs> I think that um, perhaps you should bring your concerns to Bethel. Are you not a Bethel resident? I live in Bethel, and I'm proud of it. Did you attend their meeting, Robert? What meeting? The the meeting regarding reapportionment? Could not get there. Oh. But couldn't do it. Hmm. Huh. That's too bad. This affects Bethel more than it does Rochester. Because Bethel is actually being split as a town. Okay, well, I, I guess we're, uh, we're done. Yeah, Do I hear we'll it? Adjourned. Motion re all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, ayes have it. Well, thank you everybody for your time. Thank you.